Welcome to my channel guys, my name is James Makinson. Today we're going to be doing a quick video because this is going to be more of a two-part video. We're going to be making some tartar sauce and then in the next video I'm going to be doing something a little different. It's going to be a surprise, but it's not going to be just fish and chips. We're going to do something a little different. But today I'm going to show you a very easy and simple tartar sauce that you can make at home and also as course and as always if you don't have the ingredients then you can substitute for others as well. So I'll give you a few helpful tips and tricks. Anyway, before we get going, be sure to like the video down below today, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't done so already, and I am also on Twitch doing live videos. So if you are on Twitch, head over to there and follow me as well. Anyway, let's get started. Now to get started, I'm going to start cutting the pickles as well as the shallots and the rest of our little ingredients. Now. If you want, a great way to secure your cutting board is to put a little piece of kitchen cloth under the cutting board, damp, and that way it doesn't move. And then for cutting the little pickles, I'm just going to cut them lengthways, square off the ends, cut them lengthways again, and then slice them into little batons, and then turn them and slice them into little cubes. And if you want, or into bernoise, if you want, you can also chop them, it doesn't matter but you just want it fine because this is going to be a nice little sauce that we're going to be making. Now, for the shallots, the same thing, and as well, if you want a good video on how to cut onions, shallots, or anything, I did make a video, and I'll leave the link in the description down below if you want to work on your knife skills. This will save you a lot of time and energy. Now, as far as the herbs are concerned, you can use tarragon, you can use dill. Today, we're gonna to be using some flat leaf parsley. Um, if you have dill, I would suggest using it as dill adds, was a very common ingredient and it adds a lot of good flavor as well. It's a little difficult for me to find it as of now in summer, but this is a very good substitute if you want to substitute any of these herbs for one or the other. Now with the parsley, I'm just going to pick it. If it's dirty, be sure to give it a wash beforehand and I'm just going to roll it up more or less into a little ball and I'm going to chiffonade. Now for capers, if you don't know what these little things are, they are regional to the Mediterranean, they taste extremely good, normally we eat them pickled and they go with fish, they go in sauces that go with fish, this is why we're putting them in tartar sauce and it's not just the little buds that you can find, the ones that we're using today, you can also find some very large capers, they let them grow a little more and they add a very good flavor. Again, they're optional if you don't want to add them or if you don't like them, but trust me, if you haven't tasted them, buy some, try them. They're a little salty and uh, tell me what you think. And then lastly, I'm just going to take my little lemon. I'm gonna roll it quickly onto the cutting board to allow us to juice it a little easier because it breaks all the little cells in the lemon. Cut that in half and set all the mise en place aside. And now we're going to make the mayonnaise. So. Again, with your damp kitchen cloth, you can take a bowl. A heavy bowl is better, but today I don't want to make that much, so I have my little flimsy bowl with me. But you can either use a whisk or you can use a hand wand or a hand blender to make the mayonnaise, one or the other. A hand blender is much easier and much faster, and I've shown this multiple times on how to make dressings, sauces, emulsifications, and everything else which I have plenty of these videos as well if you want to check any of those out. But today we're going to use the little whisk since I'm not going to make that much. If you just want to make, say, 200 milliliters more or less. First, we want to separate the egg yolk from the white and I'm just going to slowly whisk the oil in while beating the eggs, while whisking. Very, very consistently. You want to start off slow if you're gonna make your mayonnaise and then you can slowly increase the amount of oil that you add. And I did make a video on making mayonnaise as well, if you want to check that video out, guys. It's a very good recipe as well. Now, once you get more or less to a thicker consistency, you've made your mayonnaise, then we're going to add the Dijon mustard and all the mise en place or all the ingredients that we have added, as well as half our lemon. And if you are going to squeeze half the lemon, either use your fingers, although having a little chinois or a little sieve will save you a lot of headache with all those little seeds. Add a little bit of salt and a little bit of black pepper. If it's not salty enough, add a little more salt, taste it, and voila, that's it. You have made a very delicious homemade tartar sauce. And if you want it a little spicier, then play around with the ingredients. Add a little more Dijon or add another ingredient if you want to increase a little more of that flavor. 
The great thing about cooking is that you never stop experimenting and sauces are great for this because there's no one set recipe for the same sauce. There are good recipes, but you can always modify, you can always enhance, and you can always change any of these recipes. So guys, thank you for watching my video. Be sure to like and subscribe down below if you haven't done so already, as well as check me out on Twitch because I am there. And I have plenty of more recipes and videos on my channel as well as how to cook, so feel free to check them out. Anyway, take care. I'll see you guys again very soon. Bye.